Good evening, folks. So, I just finished a 22-minute video that started with headlines, spun off out into the atmosphere of tinfoil hat land, and I apologize. I do. But it is not my fault. Oh, scoozy. These people get me so worked up. Can't help it. We are strictly going to run headlines, and I am not going off on a fucking tangent anymore. So, let us start with Black Lives Matter surrounding cars and harassing people, including cops in D.C. It's a really bad thing to do. Because Black Lives Matter, which is a terrorist organization, regardless of what anybody says, but is definitely a political organization by their own paperwork, and since their people ad admit to being Marxists and training under uh, Maduro Chavez, helicopter rides, somebody's getting it. You get a helicopter ride, and you get a helicopter ride, and you get a helicopter ride. Fucking done. I am done. I, I realize that there are people, and now I'm going to get ready to go off in fucking tangent land again. I realize that there are people in this country who are like, well, it's okay to have a difference of opinion. It certainly is 110% okay to have a difference of opinion unless your difference of opinion is your country needs to die and communism is the way to go. In which case, my opinion is more important than yours because my opinion is you get a helicopter ride and you get a helicopter ride and you get a helicopter ride. Student history. Pinochet was a great man. He was trying to advance the human species. He was trying to teach communists how to fly. We'd have had X-Men if he did. Kept it up a little longer. And that's the last thing I need is fucking commies flying because then they just shit on us worse than pigeons. Democrats worried about backlash from suburbs overriding. Don't worry about it, folks. Do not worry about backlash over sub. They're worried they're not going to get the vote. I'm just going to say people in the suburbs are more likely to shoot you than people in the city. Because people in the suburbs are like, fuck you, I left the city for a reason. You turned it into a shithole. Democrats are owned. Well, it's not even the Democrats. And, you know, we keep saying that, but it's the Uniparty. It's the Never Trumpers, like Mitch McConnell and Mittens. There's a large section of that fucking government that has been entrenched for decades because they are addicted to suckling from the fucking scrotal sack of power and money. There's 470 out of 535 seats up in Congress and Senate this year. You should vote every one of those motherfuckers with the exception of very few right out of their job. Pick anybody, because at this point, really fuck with them. Pick a Green or an Independent. Make them have to work to steal. Because they have gotten fat and bloated and lazy not having to work to steal. You're going to steal, I need you to work. I need you to put some fucking legwork in. Portland's mayor, Ted Wheeler, commits to letting his city burn. Today I sent this letter via email to at real Donald Trump, declining his recurring offer to aid Portland by sending federal enforcement to the city. And Portlandia, which was a shithole beforehand because um, it reeked of patchouli and moldy dreadlocks and unwashed hippie fucking scum. <laughs> well, now it reeks of all that plus ash. Uh, Governor Como adds staff during statewide hiring freeze. Well, of course he does. Somebody needs to make sure that they massage and um, lubricate his nipple rings so he doesn't chafe. C-SPAN got so many callers defecting from the Democrat Party that they changed the label on their phone lines. Well, go fucking figure. You mean the sheep aren't asleep anymore? <gasps> but, but, but. Uh, shut yourself in foot, dumbass. Judge voids 50,000 absentee ballot requests in Iowa. Gee, I wonder why. I said we weren't going to go off on a tangent. So I'm just going to lay this out real quick. If you want an absentee ballot, you have to apply for it. To apply for it, you have to show identification. 
Okay. It's not mass mail-in balloting. It's absentee balloting. Except... An Iowa judge ordered an Iowa County Thursday to invalidate 50,000 requests for absentee ballots, agreeing with President Donald Trump's campaign that its election commissioner overstepped his authority by pre-filling them with voters' personal information. You have to show up. You have to request. You have to present identification. NBA plans to turn arenas into voting centers. Why? Most of their fans are felons who aren't allowed to vote. Who the fuck watches the NBA anymore? Trump gives a full pardon to Alice Johnson. Alice Johnson would be a black woman, by the way. President Trump on Friday signed a full pardon for Alice Johnson, whose life sentence for nonviolent offenses he had previously commuted. So pot. Three strike rule, life sentence. So completely unconstitutional, it's not funny. But you know who put that in? You know who made that fucking happen? Politicians who played upon your fears and your mephilies because they think you're a moron. Well, I'll just. You know what we should do? We should say if anybody convicted of three times for anything, send him in jail forever. Damn the torpedoes. If we had a fucking Supreme Court, shit like this wouldn't happen. But we don't. Democrat state, um, Democrat Georgia state representative attacked after the RNC. He's a black fella. That's Vernon Jones. And he's a Democrat. And he supports Trump. And they really don't like him now. What's the name of that movie that's out by, um... Nice guy. Constantly reminds black people that they're not the victims they think they are. Oh, Larry Elder. And his movie is called Uncle Tom. And if you're interested, you should watch it. Because it's pretty goddamn interesting to see black people say, I'm not the fucking victim. <laughs> Why would I be a victim? <gasps> yeah. Blows their whole fucking scheme. A lock of hair from Abraham Lincoln may sell at auction for $75,000. Okay. A little creepy, but okay. Why it's not in the Smithsonian, don't know, but okay. U.S. Attorney's Office charges 74 Portlandia rioters. Some could face sentences of up to 20 years. Or... Putting this out there. Execute them. And save me a lot of money. Just saying. Colorado man yelled, Black Lives Matter before stabbing victim. Why is he still alive? Why did they not apprehend him with a 357 sick through the forehead? Saving me money. Well, the taxpayer relief shop. Like the fucking idiot cop in Kenosha that shot that shitbag seven times and didn't fucking kill him. You shoot somebody seven fucking times and not kill them. Goddamn trained. I know. I'm a horrible human being. I'm not as horrible as that fucking guy. Man accused of shooting in a group of 30 Trump supporters in South Carolina... Well, they caught the shitbag that shot up that shot up at the people on the bridge from a car. So it's a bridge spanning a motorway, a Trump rally, and flags, and putting the cups in the fences and shit that people do. And this moron drove by, pulled his fucking handgun out of the car, and went. Pop, 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 pop. He didn't hit anybody, and thank God nobody fucking got shot, injured, or died. But they caught his ass. And what are we gonna do with him? Just saying, the world needs more compost. Rand Paul and his wife attacked by Black Lives Matter did that. Uber promotes Black Lives Matter rioting in Washington, D.C. with helpful tips from the ACLU. Uber threw me off their platform two and a half, three years ago. 
Didn't tell me why. Didn't let me use them anymore. And the only reason I used Uber was because Uber, like Coke, is synonymous for a ride-sharing program. Now I use Lyft, who is nice, and they send me discount coupons all the time. And I like them so much better. I actually met a really cute driver on Lyft. The hell was her name? I don't know. She was really cute, and she had her tinfoil hat on. Really, really good conversation, but we just managed not to connect. Yeah, happens. If you're still out there and you finally figured out what your problems are, you should have my phone number. Fucking call me. Let's go grab a drink. Uber supports your right to march. Participating in today's March on Washington? Keep this resource from the ACLU in hand. When is the ACLU going to get tagged as a fucking terrorist organization? Tolerant Black Lives Matter activists hurl anti-gay slurs at Brandon Straka, a gay Republican man. Obviously, I was wrong. It was Brandon and his old man that left. But hey, they're Democrats. They're tolerant. It's Republicans that are horrible and, and want to put gay people in cages and set them on fire like they were... Oh, we can't, we can't mention that religion. RNC versus DNC fireworks says it all. Trump did a fucking amazingly nice job with the fireworks, and my favorite part was multiple times did it spell Trump 2020. Trump 2020. I think Biden had a handful of fucking grade school kids running around with sparklers in their hands. The only reason they were running was because he kept trying to sniff them. Biden. Trump screwed up a good economy he inherited from the Obama-Biden administration. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. If that does not lock down your diagnosis of fucking delusional dementia... Nothing will. Oh yeah, we had a great economy. Uh-huh, sure we did. Kamala Harris. The life of a black person in America has never been treated as fully human. How the fuck would she know? No black. Indian. A little bit of Jamaican. A lot of bit of white. But not black. Sorry there, Kamala. Ugh. Kyle Rittenhouse is facing 170 years. Here's a comparison of charges. They're goat fucking the kid, folks. He is a goddamn boy scout. He is about the nicest kid you've ever met. I'm more than sure he has offered to cut his neighbor's lawns for fucking free. He would be a boy scout if they hadn't destroyed the boy scouts because boy scouts were racist and homophobic and girls can be boy scouts too. Because we don't have a separate scouting environment for uterine Americans. Michelle Obama pops off about Kyle Rittenhouse's systematic, oh, systemic racism is coming from the White House. It was. And we got you and your piece of shit fucking power bottom out of there. Now we're trying to fix the systemic racism. Piece of fucking shit. She is almost as confused as her gynecologist. I thought we were going to lose our lives. It was like a bloodthirsty mob. Kelly Paul on violent leftist mob attack after the RNC. Kelly is Ron's wife. And these people are fucking deranged. And they're screaming Breonna Taylor. But he's the guy that wrote the fucking Breonna Taylor bill for no-knock raids to go away. Because... I don't know. Dumb? Programmed? Y you fucking tell me. George Black Man Who Stabbed Stranger says he felt the need to find and kill a white male. He, he, he should have come to me. Story would be different. And I'd be facing 170 years in jail. But it would have had a happy ending. 
Just saying. Finally, Lindsey Graham brings in top Obamagate spy to testify, but he limits participants in the hearing. You, you don't think maybe Lindsey might have spent a little time out in Epstein Island? Oh. And Lindsey, we know you're gay. Nobody gives a fuck. It's America in 2020. You could get fucked in the ass with a fucking Godzilla-sized strap-on. Nobody cares. There's got to be something more going on there. Trump trolls Democrat at New Hampshire rally. DNC takes bait and posts video of joke stare stumble. So, Trump basically took a page out of the old Saturday Night Live Chevy Chase routine where he used to do the... Uh, Jerry Ford? Gerald Ford was our president for a couple of years after Nixon got impeached. And it, it, Jerry Ford wasn't particularly clumsy. Um, Jerry Ford was actually a, an all-American football player, if I remember correctly. Once or twice he fucked up, and so Chevy Chase used to torture him. Because even back in the 70s, Republicans are bad, Democrats good, at least according to the fucking media. <clears throat> On this day in 1874, violent Democrats murdered two dozen Republicans in Coshada Massacre. I have no idea what Coshada is. It's gotta be an Indian word, because it sure as hell don't look like a fucking white person word. The greatest economic recovery in U.S. history continues. S&P 500 sets another all-time high. Folks, do not get me wrong. Uh, you want to play the market, feel free. I, I don't really give a shit. I view it as a giant, pans giant Ponzi scheme. That's just me. But you know I'm a conspiracy theory person. At least that's what everyone calls me. I prefer to think of myself as awake and a realist. But shit is what it is. All right, 1730. We're actually doing pretty good today. Silence is consent. Not one Democrat condemns vicious attacks on RNC attendees, including assaults on a lawmaker, a sitting senator, and a wounded warrior. They got all up in that fucking fella shit. He's got no goddamn legs. They were fucking hammering him for not standing up. Motherfucker got his legs blown off, but that fat fucking bitch, Tammy, what's her name? Well, she's a hero. Yeah. Yeah. No fucking in the rear with the gear when something went sideways on her, right? Six mayors from the Iron Range in Minnesota. That's where the Iron League is. If you've watched Slapshot. A historically Democrat stronghold endorsed Donald J. Trump for president. I am not surprised. Oh, apparently LeBron James had to fucking mush mouth his way into the fucking news. I'm not going to bother to read that. I can fucking stand him. Another stooge puppet for the fucking Illuminati. Jacob Blake's father recites Muslim victory call, War Cry of Halah. We need to reclassify Islam. You know what? I haven't heard the Jew war cry. I don't hear the Christian war cry. Nor have I heard the Buddhist or Shinto or Taoist or anyone else's war cry. But Islam has one. Coronavirus is not... Coronavirus is not the first mass killing by Fauci. How many tens of thousands of Americans must die before Dr. Fauci loses his job? That's going to refer back to um, the AIDS epidemic when... Yeah, he was in charge of that. As a matter of fact, he stole that doctor, the female doctor, stole all of her research so he could patent and get a vaccine that didn't fucking work out because it's a phylovirus. It's fucking engineered too. If you're a gun owner... How to have a lawyer before you need one. 
this is actually really the truth. If you're going to carry, you do need to have a lawyer. You do need to have a service on call to protect you because they will fuck you the second you defend yourself. You were the criminal in a self-defense shooting. They teach you that in CCW class. If you go to Tactical Toolbox on YouTube, it is a really nice breakdown on um, which groups offer what programs, what benefits, what cons, prices. Look him up. Really, really solid guy. He's from out here. I like him. He does good shit. Illinois judge grants Kyle Rittenhouse's request to delay extradition hearing. Good for fucking him. Not that Illinois is a better place to be fucking tried for a gun crime. It's not a goddamn gun crime. Fucking self-defense shoot. Pelosi back. Pelosi backtracks. Now says, feeble Biden can debate Trump. He'll be a great debater. He couldn't do 25 minutes the other night off a teleprompter, and Trump chewed 70 minutes without batting a fucking eye. Senator Rand Paul claims rioters are organized and being paid an observation we reported on in May, an observation I reported on last fucking year. Uh, 21 and a half. Confronted, Rand Paul's wife scolds Politico for downplaying hateful mob outside a White House. Yep. Reporters demand to know if Trump grandson built White House Lego model after a after Ivanka's speech. The kid's fucking three. No, he didn't. Why would you fucking care? Because you have nothing else. You people are fucking horrible. Virginia, Virginia Democrats passed bill reducing assault of police officers and EMTs, and firefighters, and judges to a misdemeanor. U.S. Marshals find 39 endangered and missing children in Georgia rate. Thank fucking God. And that's what we're going to end on, folks. A goddamn happy note. We don't get enough of those anymore. I really do hope that they... Uh, I, I'm... Just remember, when in doubt, it's not waterboarding if you use diesel. All right, my friends, that is it. Thank you for swinging by and sitting through my bullshit for 23 goddamn minutes on top of the other shit I put up tonight. God damn, I am a yakky motherfucker. I changed my shit to Yakitori Central. I will catch you on the next one. In the meantime, be safe, be happy, be healthy be in the moment because it only is now once it's gone it's gone forever i love you stay safe and happy adios